It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the New England Patriots and the Miami Dolphins, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. The summer humidity has given way to an absolutely gorgeous fall afternoon here at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Brandon Gond and Charles Davis, thrilled to be with you from the broadcast booth. And partner, before we get this thing started, what are you going to be watching? Who gets off to a fast start? In horse racing terms, they talk about catching a flyer out of the gate. Who sets the pace and makes the other team chase? Joey Sly, the kicker, stands ready. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And the Dolphins head out, led by the NFL's leading passer in 2023. Now in his fifth season, Tua Tungabailoa. And he's coming off a great season where he put up career highs in yards and touchdowns while also leading one of the most prolific scoring offenses in the NFL. The number one thing he did last season, though, staying healthy. When he's on the field, Miami can roll. Play action. Now it's Tua. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. It's zone defense right away here defensively, and I know that these linebackers and DBs are going to be tested throughout. They passed the first test, though. This one falls incomplete. Now a second and ten. On the ground, this is Devon Achan. And he'll get a couple up to the 29. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Off of play action. Tongue of Iloa. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. So on fourth down, here's Jake Bailey to punt for the Dolphins. And back deep for New England is Marcus Jones. Fielded at about the 28. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And the Patriots take over. So here come the Patriots to take over for the first time, led out by the rookie, the third overall pick back in April out of UNC, and that's Drake May. And it's been a long time, but this franchise entered the offseason desperately needing a young quarterback to build around and plan for the future. And they found their guy in Drake May out of North Carolina. Big arm, great mobility, terrific character. He's everything you're looking for in a quarterback. It may bring him along slowly, but I believe in time, he will be their QB1 and be there for a long time. Taken down at the 42. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Second and seven. The first carry for the Memphis man, Antonio Gibson. And he'll get about three here up to the 44-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here is third down and four. To throw, it's May. 
And this is going to be incomplete. Well, I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week. But they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Barringer on to punt for the Patriots. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. So Miami coming out for their second drive. And on the first drive, three and out. I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Forced out to his left. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Here's Tua. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And Hill is going to have the Dolphins first down as he'll get this up across the 30-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. They'll swing this out wide. Here's HM. Two yards on the pickup there, and that will bring up second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. On oh, the jet sweep, here comes Waddle. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion, and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Out of the gun on third down, here's Tua. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. I spotted man coverage on the outside. I expect we'll see a lot of that from this defense as this game moves on. And that was a good job there, as that one was knocked away. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. Here's Jones. Gets past one man. 13 yards the tally on the return there and that will come the offense as they take over so back onto the field come the pats for their second drive the crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts they want some big plays they want to see some offense they want to see somebody break away whether it's through the air or on the ground now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides each head coach can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Flush to his right. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Second down and three. Play action, May. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. 
They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. A nice first down pickup on a gain of six. And we tend to give those running backs that are slashers a lot of credit, but how about guys who are maulers? Because that's what you want in short yardage situations. And we just saw that occur right there, didn't we? Vertical downhill running. Douglas, the man in motion. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. To the air, May. He finds Douglas complete. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. A false start penalty, and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down. Throwing here is May. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 22-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. They'll throw with May. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. Straight ahead, Gibson. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. 19 yards for Antonio Gibson. And the Patriots get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? And Joey Sly on for the extra point. And he gets it to make it 7-0 Patriots. So that drive goes eight plays. And the capper, a 19-yard touchdown run. Joey slide out a kick off after the touchdown. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Miami set to take over. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. In motion, Hill. Two are going to throw. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. 
The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Here comes third and about a foot. Now a play fake. Here's Tagovailoa. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But well, plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. In motion, the tight end. Now Tua. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm really of how he can hurt you. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Throw caught by Achan. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Well, hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. In motion, Hill. Now they show Jet Sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. A one-yard gain can look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. They fake the handoff. Now Tua looking for the end zone. That is incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. On play action, here's Tua. That is caught. And he will take it in for the Dolphins touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 26 yards. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from drawing level. Partner, remember that old film of Peyton Manning going through the route tree with his great receivers in Indianapolis? I think we're seeing the results of the same type of work here today. These guys know each other so well, they don't even have to call the play. They can just look each other and know the route that's going to be run, and usually the connection is perfect. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So that one, an eight-play drive, it spans 75 yards. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyreek Hill.
So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. New England's offense set to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is a defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. And they'll run the toss here with Stevenson. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. That's going to go down as a loss of five. And it brings up third down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down. But they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. A tough spot here. Third and 15. Looking to throw. May. Setting up a screen for Stevenson. And they'll get him down here at the 23. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Dolphin football. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at the 33-yard line. In motion left, Hill. He'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. Down the left sideline, pushing his way through. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. An excellent game, 35 yards. So that about the shortest pass a quarterback can make, but it winds up going for a bundle. Yeah, let's face it, in the stats, it sure looks like a heck of a throw, doesn't it? <laughs> it's almost like in baseball when you get that little Texas leaguer that turns into a double, you would think that you hit it off the wall. Big time play for him on a short little pass. And this is incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Tua sets up to pass it. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots. 18, 7-7, our score after one. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. A run straight ahead with HM. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. This is second and eight. Hey, Chan here. They stay on the ground. 
And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. You still hold your breath a little as a defense when Tua gets out of the pocket. You're worried about him scrambling and getting a first down. But there, he made the wise call. If there's nothing downfield, just throw it away. This offense so far on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This will be a tough third and 18. Throwing now is Chugabailoa. It's caught by OBJ. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. And that big game may just change the thought process here on fourth down. I think in the red zone, they might now consider going for it on fourth down. So fourth down, Tua departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. The kick by Sanders is good, and the Dolphins have taken the lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Here's second and ten. A give up the middle to Gibson. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. Bourne going to go in motion right here. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. A gain of three, second down. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. From the 48-yard line, here's second down and seven. Here's May. Got the connection here to Bourne. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. Now he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. I apologize in advance, partner, but the V-feeders on the interior of this D-line, 
you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. Well, we got beef eaters licking their chops and tasty dish in one fell swoop. I did apologize in advance, didn't I? Yeah, you did. That line's not eating tofu, I'll tell you that much for free. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Here's A-Chan to start the drive. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. Play action, now it's Tua. That's gonna be knocked away and incomplete. As a coaching staff, you can call just about whatever you want because you understand you have guys who reliably take away those massive shots downfield. You're not as worried about giving up the big one. Well behind the sticks here with a second and 18. Up the middle, a chance. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. I don't think anyone thought we'd see a run facing second in that long, and that element of surprise, I think, helped make that play so successful. Nice effort on that carry, and it took what seemed like second and impossible, now has him within throwing range of a first down. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Here's Tua. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt it for a second. They pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. Off of play action, Tug of Iloa. And he will slide down, but a penalty marker down as well. And it looks like this is going to be all for naught. So they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're just going to pick up a holding call. In motion comes the tight end left. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. That's to the sideline and incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. There he goes, left side. Tyreek Hill. Well, all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill with his second touchdown here in this first half as his guys are able to extend their lead. What a first half he is compiling here. He's already over 100 yards receiving and now two touchdowns, CD. Brandon, you know I don't like to play the game where you start projecting when you're at a certain point. Well, let's face it, he's off to a tremendous start. So 200 yards, four touchdowns. I don't think anything's out of the question right now. He's blowing up coverages. You've got to double him every snap. Otherwise, he's going to defeat you on almost every play.
Extra point up and good by Sanders, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. New England trying to get a place on offense. They find themselves down 17-7 as they start this drive first and 10. Douglas the man in motion. Now fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. To throw, it's May. He'll get this into the hands of Antonio Gibson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. I have to tell you, Brandon, I feel like a coach right now because I'm wondering why the angle route continues to be so effective when as an inside linebacker, you're always taught don't let someone cross your face. If they want to go outside, it's okay. But they make that outside fake, cut back inside, off into great success. They'll run the jet sweep with Douglas. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Emmanuel Agba finding his way to the ball for a big stop there behind the line of scrimmage. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Well, they went back to him, but the results were similar, so I highly doubt that he'll get another opportunity here on third and long. So two plays with only negative yardage to show, and now it's third and 16. To the air, May. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. It'll be a pickup of 14, but they're still a little bit short as it brings up fourth. And not all spectacular catches are the result of a pass that maybe was not thrown quite right. Sometimes it's thrown in the perfect spot, and you have to just go get it. He did that right there. No fear there in the middle of the field. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. The Dolphins offense and Tua Tungavailoa headed back out onto the field. And he's done everything you could have asked for coming in. He's spread it around. He hasn't taken many chances. And he's potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And another drive starts with them huddling in their end zone, Charles. Where have we seen this before? <laughs> Very recently, but the last time they had it backed up like this, they took it the length of the field. Hard to do that once, let alone the idea of doing it twice. But of course, that's the goal. So as a secondary deal, get two first downs. Help yourself a field position and help your defense out. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. Out of the gun, here's a give to HM. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. 
He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going? Crashed down inside and tackled him for a loss. Looking to pass to a short throw to Smith. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. So the completion results there in nine yards. And now two yards to go on third down. In motion goes the tight end. They'll go to the air here on third and two. Goes right back to Smith again. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Two are going to throw. And that nearly trouble, but it's incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it. And it'll be second down. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Two and a throw again. That's caught Waddle on the left side. And he will be out of bounds. A good yardage there, and he'll get a second to catch his breath as it leads us right into the two-minute warning. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll look to throw again. Gets this one to Hill. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Now Tua. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. Out of the gun on third down. Here's Tua. And that is incomplete. Fine work by the Patriot D there, and it's fourth down. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game, so you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. They'll go. HN. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. I love those plays, fourth and one. That's who wants it more, this time the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We saw it there for the offense getting it done. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Boy, this is a well-orchestrated drive they've put together. You think back to how far they were backed up to start things out, but they've gone on a march since then, and now after that completion there, they've got a first and goal. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. That is caught by Waddle. Touchdown, Miami. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Dolphins go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points.
There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Sanders on for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it was finished off by a Jalen Waddle touchdown. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And they got to be pleased with this. He brings it all the way up to the 40-yard line. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. A first and ten here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. Short pass caught by Henry. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Throwing here is May. He finds Douglas complete. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Looking to throw, May. Short pass caught by Henry. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Second and a couple. They'll throw with May. And that one to the right side and incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Again, he'll drop to throw. To the sideline and incomplete. The Dolphins do the job defensively there, and now it brings up fourth. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he put enough leg into it, but it's well off to the right and no good. And the deficit will stay at three scores. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. And 
the drive starts with a run from HM. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So the two teams will head to the locker rooms here in Miami with the Dolphins on top. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. It was a strong first half from the lefty to a tongue of Iowa. He's over 300 yards passing already as he's looking to possibly put his name in the record book. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And the Patriots going to take over here to start quarter number three. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Second and 10. Looking to throw. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one. Close quickly. It helped force the incompletion. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. He'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, if they have any designs of getting back into this football game in the second half, they're going to need to be much sharper offensively than they were on this opening possession. Not much happening here, and it'll lead to a fourth down. Well, the Patriots send out their punter as he's on for the fifth time here today. A 47-yard punt, maybe a couple on the return. And they will take over first and 10. The Dolphins offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They'll send a receiver in motion left. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. Short throw to Smith. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out. And by a few inches, that'll be a first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Now HN on first and 10. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but... There are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, 
But that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Again, it's a champ. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. So it's the big left tackle who gets tagged with a hold. And sometimes you're actually executing the block well, and he starts to slip off of you, and instinctively you reach out and grab him. And when it's done like that, it's often seen by the official and called. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. That's on Teron Armstead, the left tackle. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. This one thrown underneath to Achan. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be a third and about 13. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Marcus Jones making that play defensively. Well, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on to kick it away. Jones on the return. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. New England's offense set to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They'll start by running the option to the right. Yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't. And at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage so he didn't lose anything. But you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. Off the play fake. Here's May. Steps away. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Here's May. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. So possession goes over here on the punt. Dolphins offense returning to the field. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset.
The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. So he'll be stopped here for no gain at its second down. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into what? A huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, catch was made, put down right on the spot. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Couple of Alabama guys there. Two at a waddle for the Miami first. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. In motion right, one of the tight ends. A-chan on the counter. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. Now give him credit for trying, but there's no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stop the run, and then executed. Second and nine from the 44. And they'll send the tight end in motion. Right back to A-Chan on second down. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And he will slide down with the first down for the moment, but a penalty flag on the field. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. They'll let this go deep for Waddle. And this is dropped. Oh, my goodness. There was no one around him, but he took his eye off it, and it falls incomplete. And that's one of the few things that has not gone right for this offense so far. They've had their share of big plays. That was nearly another. But somehow, he just couldn't squeeze it. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. On oh, the return is Jones. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well... I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Well, another modest gain there on that one. And I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They'll have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 
That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Well, they certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. To throw, it's May. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game and the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. Third quarter from Miami. This is second and ten. They're going to look to throw. Open man is Osborne. He's got it. And he'll get positive yardage there as he'll be touched down. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. On third down, here's Stevenson. Now this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart. And that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold them. A give, running right, HM. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. He'll get three of those penalty yards back here, leaving him with a second and 12. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game, and with a lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. 57 yards rushing for him now to this point. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Here is third and five. In motion, the tight end. Tua sets up to pass it. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. With nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job seat. He got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. And this one too low. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten.
Here's Tua. He'll dump this off to A-Chan. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. It's Dolphin football. It's also Dolphin lead to begin quarter number four. Play action. Now it's Tua. Throw caught by Achan. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? And the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. New England trying to get a place on offense. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. To the air, May. This one caught by Osborne, right side. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Second and one. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. But at this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And, oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They'll go. It's Gibson. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So he needed one. He ended up getting three. And I really like the way he ran that one, too. That's really intelligent running because oftentimes a running back could get too greedy. Try and hit the home run on a play where you just need a few yards. Well done there, making sure he got the first down and not worrying about trying to get a touchdown. A uh, quick throw there is incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. So a lot of credit to the defensive game plan and especially the execution. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter and find their way open. Able to shake him off. And that is incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll try and throw for it with May. And it's 
is going to be batted down and will go the other way with the football. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. So first and 10 now from the 30. In motion, Hill. On play action, here's Tua. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And they move this all the way down to the nine. So he gets too far beyond the line, and that's an easy call for the official. They'll give this day champ. And he'll be taken down at the 34. They get one yard back there to make it second and 14. Well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it, and he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Now a toss right side. HN with it. Gets around him. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 73 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. That is caught by Waddle. Touchdown, Miami. Jalen Waddle with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins are able to stretch out their lead. Well, partner, he has carried them in this ballgame, throwing the football all four touchdowns through the air. And that's really helped them get this nice lead. And I know it's a team game, but right now, he is truly the focal point. Every touchdown his team has so far has been the result of his arm. How about him throwing it downfield, creating big plays? I don't know how you slow him down unless you can make him uncomfortable in the pocket. Sanders now to add the extra point. And the lead is now 24. So that drive, four plays. And it was finished off by a Jalen Waddle touchdown. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. So the Patriots coming out now. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, 
you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. Out route, and this is Henry with a catch. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to... And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has. But in his defense, he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. I got it. You yeah. see what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. Throwing here is May. Short pass caught by Henry. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. The offense on third down, they've been stymied left and right, converted only one time. This is third and four. They'll throw with May. Setting up a screen for Stevenson. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes you just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. We're going to throw May. Now right to Bourne. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they turn that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. A few moving pieces on that play because that was an RPO, was it not? It was, but one important piece that didn't move incorrectly, the offensive line. Because when you're running this play, as he continued down the line of scrimmage, sometimes the lineman can wander downfield. And if you're more than a yard downfield, it's illegal to throw the football at that point. But they held their ground, held their spot, and turned it into a nice game. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Back to throw again. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. K.J. Osborne, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Obviously, the scoreboard right now is not the friend of this rookie quarterback. But, hey, a touchdown pass there maybe builds a little confidence. Every rep is valuable when you're a rookie. Every time you step up and throw the football, there's a lesson to be learned. Yeah, he took advantage of a little bit of loose coverage there with the lead. But at the same time, got it done. It'll take a little bit of satisfaction away from that throw. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Dolphins are going to recover. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, 
It was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. Now they'll send Waddle in motion left. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Off of play action, Tungavailoa. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. A run straight ahead with HM. And some strong running, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. 88 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. And the pressure gets there. He'll go down. It's a sack. And it is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. Keon White got in there for the sack. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. On third down, HN. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to about the 19. Call it a gain of five. Fourth down now. So on fourth down, Dolphin kicker Jason Sanders comes on. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. Sanders' kick is good, and the Dolphins will add on to their lead. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. And bulldozing his way through. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. 
And the Patriot offense back out, getting set to go. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Throw right side going to be taken in by Henry. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. This second and four. Here's May. And his throw here is incomplete. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw. And they're under 200 yards passing for the game. So they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game. And that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them, holding them under 200 today. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On play action, May. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. They'll look to throw again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They go play action now. May. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Still on his feet. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Kendrick Bourne, 62 yards. And the Patriots have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. You've got to understand situational football because they're playing with the lead here late in the ball game. So the back defender has got to be as deep as the deepest receiver. Keep everything in front of you, rally up and make the play. Yeah, you would think they had the three-score lead, now it's down to two, but three-score lead here late, that they wouldn't give up a big pass play like that, but they did. An extra point by Sly is up and good, and the lead will be cut down to 14. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And the Dolphins are indeed going to get this, and that should all but do it. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. The home team's offense and running back Devon Achan making their way back out. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter.
The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. Victory very likely now for the Dolphins as they take a knee here. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, Tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Dolphins are winners here as we say so long from South Florida.